Recently, I bought the Element Heat CQ18T Digital Mixer and I've been using the CQ4U app while recording and rehearsing. In this overview, I'll go over how to connect the app to the mixer as it's compatible with the CQ series digital mixers such as the CQ12T through an external router, CQ18T and CQ20B with built-in Wi-Fi. I also want to share my experience and thoughts on the design and features of the app and some suggestions for future updates. With the app, performers can control their monitoring mix, whether that's coming through a wedge or any monitors, and in either mono or stereo. This is great if you're performing on a stage where musicians and singers are spread out, making it difficult to hear each other without any monitoring. This app is available for Android and iOS users. So if you've got the CQ series mixes, you should be able to download this app and use it for recording or integrate it into your live performances. As of February 2024, the app is on version 1.1.1.79069. Before performers can connect to the mixer, the front of house has to enable the Wi-Fi access point. This can be done through the config page, then selecting network and changing the network type to Wi-Fi and selecting apply. The mixer will take a moment to create an IP address, but once that's done, anyone with the app can connect to the Wi-Fi and start controlling their mix. To help the performer identify their output, you can rename this on the mixer, go to config, then output, and then select the output and rename it here. For security and reliability, the mixer allows the front of house engineer to set a Wi-Fi password. This restricts the audience from connecting to the Wi-Fi and creating unnecessary traffic on the network. This setup is fairly easy for performers using the app for the first time and takes under two minutes to set up. When you first open the app, there's a list menu allowing the performer to select either the demo version of the app or to connect via entering an IP address. Once a digital mixer is detected, it will be shown in this menu. Once connected, we go onto the group page and the performer has full control over their mix. The design of this app is minimal with great use of contrast. It's obvious what the performer has control over and what they don't. The colors help with the navigation within the app and integrate well with the digital mixer's theme, which makes it easier for the front of house to troubleshoot any problems and guide first time users through the app. Because of its simple design, the app works great on smaller screens too, as it has great padding around the controls to allow easy control over the faders. The lack of animations help create a snappy feeling interface and responsive controls. The metering on the faders is also accurate and responsive when adjusting, which gives the performer great visual feedback as to what they are doing. Within the app, up to four groups can be assigned. It's easy for the performer to configure the groups and rename if necessary. There is also a master fader for the performer to adjust the level of their overall mix. Within the groups, tracks can be assigned using the assign button and selecting them. The volume can be controlled either inside the groups or within the main page with these sliders. I found myself controlling faders from inside the groups as it gave me more context of what everything else was doing. To get fine control over the faders, click on the fader and drag your finger to the left or right. The further you are from the control, the more distance is required to make the fader move. This is a well thought out feature that comes in handy on smaller screens as it uses all the available space effectively. To help with the setup, the mixer will save the fader changes for each output through the scenes, which can be recalled at any time. The switching is instantaneous and while changing scenes, there are no audible artifacts. This allows the performer to customize their mix and be confident that it will be the same in the next rehearsal or performance. Overall, the features are well integrated and nothing feels like an unnecessary part of the software. This helps declutter the app and allows the performer to focus on just what they need. Things to keep in mind. The CQ mixers support up to six CQ4U app users. This means that performers may have to share control of their mix. This isn't a huge issue for smaller groups, which this mixer is designed for, but something to keep in mind. When connected to the mixer, the internet is unavailable. However, mobile data does still work. This means lyrics and chord charts have to be saved offline if the performer doesn't have mobile data. Some suggestions for the app. The sense button, although corresponding well with the mixer layout, feels small. It would be useful if the user was prompted to select their output after connecting to the mixer. Although I do like the philosophy of not having any metering on the front page, as it helps declutter the UI, it doesn't give enough information to the performer as to what's going on behind the scenes. I think even just a visual fader would go a long way. I would also like to see support for channel colors in the app, as it further keeps everything organized and coordinated. This app has improved my workflow by allowing me to give performers control over their individual mix. Usually when recording, setting up headphone mixes for the performers took valuable time and made everyone frustrated, as this mix would always change throughout the rehearsal, and I would have to readjust this for every performer. 
This system allows me to simply give the performer control over their mix through the app and not worry about it for the rest of the rehearsal. Performers can adjust what instruments they want to hear quickly and without having to stop the rehearsal. I think allowing this level of control of their monitoring mix is far more important than having an expensive in-ear monitoring set, especially if you're starting out or are on a budget. During my research, I also noticed a lot of digital mixer companies recommended buying an external router to connect wirelessly to their mixes, whereas Allen and Heath encouraged the use of their built-in dual-band Wi-Fi. I unfortunately cannot comment on the reliability of the Wi-Fi on this mixer as I simply haven't had much time with it or have been in situations with congested Wi-Fi coverage to test it, but it gives me great confidence that the company believes in their product. If you've got this mixer, I definitely encourage you to try this app out, especially the stereo output functionality. This app has made me research into wireless IEMs as a solution to monitoring, even though I was discouraged to do so because of the cost. I think what stopped me from investing into IEMs was that I didn't have a way to give performers control over their mix. Well, this app solves that. If you'd like to know more about how to connect the CQ18T to your door and multitrack record your band, watch this video that shows you how to do this and more. If you've got this system or any other digital mixes with this functionality, please leave your experience down in the comment section below.